From John Sarking, a chiropractor who became a painter after a stroke, to Tony Chikoria, a doctor who discovered a great talent for piano playing after being struck by lightning. Here are some people who became geniuses by accident. John Sarkin's early career was in chiropractic, a branch of medicine based on manual therapy. He hoped to be successful in his career, and why not make a fortune too. But things don't go as planned, and John learned that the hard way, one day in 1988. That day, fate took a different course for the then 35-year-old, as a stroke damaged his brain. It was a tough blow, but John Sarkin ended up undergoing many therapies during his recovery, including art therapy. Through art therapy, which focuses on creating art, John was able to overcome his brain damage and discovered a real talent for painting. Indeed, what he loved most of all was abstract art, except that his penchant for art became so strong that it made him forget his first profession. But practicing as a chiropractor is now history for this man who now devotes himself completely to art. And it must be said, he does not regret it. If we see the huge sums of money that he manages to make from his works exhibited all over the world. Aware of the change in his life following his stroke, which is extremely rare, John Sarging has become not only an artist in his own right, but also a fascinating medical case. Edward Mybridge was an unremarkable Englishman who chose to emigrate to the United States, a country where he decided to work as a bookseller and publisher. However, his career took a different turn after a serious stagecoach accident in 1860, in which he hit his head probably against a rock. Plunged into a coma, he clung to life and eventually woke up and gradually regained his senses. Now, while he was glad to have had his life saved as a result of this potentially fatal accident, Mybridge had undergone a completely metamorphosis. Not only did he still suffer, but he was no longer the same man. His personality underwent a great change and the warm-hearted man he had been soon became an eccentric and ill-tempered person. Going so far as to murder a man he suspected of having an affair with his wife. But Moybridge's stagecoach accident didn't just change his personality. It also revealed his creative genius. From a bookseller publisher with a passion for business, Mybridge became an inventor and a very creative person with a passion for photography. His most famous invention is the Zoo Praxiscope, a device that was designed to recompose the movement of a horse's hoofs during a race in order to prove that the animal was sometimes able to lift all four hooves at once. With his invention, Edward Mybridge became one of the pioneers of photography photography and pre-cinema. But it is his fascinating story that continues to be talked about to this day. 20 years ago, Jason Paget was just a student with a keen interest in things other than the subjects he was taught in school. He certainly would have liked to pursue a different path, but a severe head injury he suffered in a violent stroke suddenly changed his vision for one particular subject, mathematics. With his brain partially damaged, Jason Paget began to see math everywhere. Everything he saw he translated into numbers or lines. Everything from the clouds in the sky to the roads took on a mathematical form in the mind of the young man who, according to specialists, had just been diagnosed with acquired scientist syndrome. Thanks to his new condition, Jason Paget became a mathematical genius. He has also made some great discoveries through his studies and has given a number of lectures, except that his new condition of mathematical genius did not have only advantages, because on the other hand, the young man started to suffer from a great anxiety and obsessive compulsive disorders. It wasn't easy for him, but at least his life now has meaning thanks to the mathematics he uses for everything, including finding a new home home for his family. Several years after the attack that changed his life, Jason Paget has become a real star. His story has even inspired some film producers to make a movie about him. 
1994, Tony Chikoria, an American orthopedic surgeon, was on a family picnic when he was overcome by a sudden urge to head to a phone booth to call his mother, whom he hadn't spoken to in a long time. But just as he finished his conversation and was about to hang up, a lightning bolt from a cloud crossed the phone line and hit him in the face, throwing him out of the booth. The consequences could have been serious after this accident, but fortunately, Tony was saved in time. Except that things started to change a little for this father of family. Indeed, the latter, who was not very used to listening to music, started to show a keen interest in classical music after his accident, as if by magic. But beyond the simple fact of listening, he decided to practice the piano, an instrument he already knew how to play during his childhood. But this man's passion for music didn't stop there, as he managed to compose his own dream music, which he named Opus 1, the Lightning Sonata. Imagine that he even gave a concert in 2008, isn't that amazing? Of course, it required hours and hours of work and a lot of energy, but Tony Chikoria was ready to do anything to achieve his desires and dreams, because music had become a kind of obsession for him. It's hard to believe, but this man who never imagined a career in music managed to become a great concert pianist, thanks to a simple love at first sight. Ben McMahon, a young Australian, had some basic Chinese language skills that he had learned in high school and was hoping to improve so that he could become more fluent in this language that many of us find difficult. His dream eventually came true, of course, but in the most unlikely way. Well, after a car accident that put him in a coma, the young man woke up after a week and spoke his first sentences in Mandarin. Ben, who didn't realize he was speaking a language other than English, began to speak fluently in Chinese to everyone around him. Of course, he was happy to be able to talk to his family again, but frustrated to notice that they couldn't understand him. But fortunately for him, a Chinese nurse who happened to be there understood what he was saying perfectly. And then the young man later realized that the language he had spoken first when he woke up from his coma was Chinese. All of this is quite extraordinary and almost a miracle. But because of, or rather thanks to what happened to him, Ben McMahon became so fascinated with China that he traveled there to participate in a Chinese dating television show. And he even ended up with a girlfriend. Late Ersac is an American animal breeder living in Colorado. Long ago, this woman had a passion for racing and sports. And she probably would have liked to become a great athlete or car driver one day and compete in international competitions and championships. But that became an almost impossible dream, because in 2009, Lade had a dangerous fall into a ravine while feeding her chickens. As a result, she now suffers from a traumatic brain injury that she has since learned to live with. The young woman could say goodbye to her dreams, but despite her condition, she was able to develop an another talent that she never imagined she had. Do you know what it was? Well, as a result of her accident, she became a genius at art and mathematical equations, as well as having developed synesthesia, a perceptual disorder that makes her able to perceive things with different sensations. That said, Lady Ersek now sees the world around her in numbers and colors, and she then exploits her new gift in the detailed drawings she enjoys making. But if this fall has brought out all the artistic genius of the young woman, she has unfortunately lost the sense of emotions and reactions. Moreover, she has no memory of her former life. Alas, yes. But for this, she can count on her friends and on the specialist who make her do tests in order to help her to learn again to react and to understand the world which surrounds her. Although she has become a different woman than she was before, Lady Ersek has become an extremely interesting case for the specialists who have studied her condition more closely. Heather Thompson, a young American woman from Seattle, had everything that could make any of us happy a family life and a successful business career that she wanted to build on. But a few years ago, the life of this young mother was turned upside down. One day, while shopping in a supermarket, Heather started to place her purchases in the trunk of her car when it fell on her head. And that's when it all clicked. 
After this accident, Heather's life took another turn because some time later, the young woman, encouraged by a friend, began to develop a taste for art and painting. More than that, she discovered that she was able to create abstract works of art with her hands and that she was able to do so in such a natural way without ever having taken an art class. The young woman had become an artist who was willing to do anything to devote herself fully to what she was doing. But this new artistic passion and talent discovered overnight changed her life a bit as she decided to leave the city and the comfort she was used to and go live in a place surrounded by nature. And while her talent as a painter has taken her away from her old life, Heather Thompson admits that it has helped her heal. Thanks to this extraordinary and fabulous experience, this young woman is getting better and better. And we end with a most unusual story. Faith Mobley, a young girl from the state of Alabama, 16 years old at the time, was working in a fast food restaurant. One day, while she was washing the dishes and hoping to finish her task quickly to go home and rest a little, a storm broke out and the unfortunate girl was struck by lightning. Quickly, an ambulance, a trip to the hospital and a series of medical tests to undergo. Fortunately, Faith recovered. But not only. You think that the young girl has developed an artistic talent or that she has become another mathematical genius, don't you? Actually, none of that. What really happened was that Faith's eyesight, which was not very good, improved and her eye color became lighter. Unbelievable, but true. The young girl was happy not to have to wear glasses anymore. On the other hand, she must have felt a little strange to see the color of her eyes suddenly changed, all because of the lightning. Well, she has certainly already gotten used to her new color and she must consider herself very lucky to have escaped safely. However, her surprising case that left the doctor speechless made her a truly unusual person. You have just discovered the story of some people affected by the acquired scientist syndrome. What do you think? Do you know others who became geniuses by accident? Leave your answers and impressions in the comments. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video.